Lovable has made it possible to build a e-commerce store with a click of a button with its new announcement, its integration with Shopify. Building an e-commerce store just got a whole lot easier. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to use Lovable to build your own Shopify store using only AI and being able to publish with one click of a button right to Shopify. Let's move over to the computer and we'll start building. Okay, so we are in Lovable now. Now we are going to start by building our own e-commerce store. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference Nike um, as our inspiration here. So I'm going to find, let's see, we'll go race. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to screenshot majority of this and we're going to try to replicate it. Actually, that's not what I was trying to do. We're going to grab this here. We're going to screenshot this. This will act as our design reference. This is this works. So now we're gonna say, I want to build, want to build a e-commerce store for shoes. Reference Nike screenshot attached for design, and I'll say use. Shopify. Okay, and I'll attach our screenshot here. And we will go. So as you can see, it knows that we want to build a store. And so it's going right now and launching the store within Shopify, which is pretty cool. Okay, so it's now prompted the Shopify connection. I'm gonna click allow. Okay, so it has now successfully connected. We are going to let it finish up here. So you can see it's actually setting up the Shopify uh, store on, on my behalf, which is really cool. Okay, and a couple minutes later, we finally have our first iteration. You can see it's used the design system from Nike. It started actually building out the real a product grid with the Shopify integration, cart details, product pages, checkout, um, and there's no cost, so this is great. Um, so, here we have it, um, pretty basic. Doesn't seem like it created any pages or products. Um, create your first shoe by telling me the name product. Okay, um, that's cool. So I was gonna say, let's, let's, let's take a shoe here. Let's see. Add this product. Let's see if this works. I haven't tested it. Okay, so that did seem to work. And so now it is actually creating the product in Shopify. We'll click allow here. Strikes me to claim your Shopify store. It does. Uh, I'm not sure why I did this twice, but always creating a product page now, I see. Okay. I need to refresh. Oh wow. Here we go. Wow, that is very cool. I can go add to current. Oh wow. That is wild. So then it will take me a quick check out to Shopify. It actually takes me to a Shopify checkout. Holy shit. That's insane. So let's see what happens when I click claim. And this is actually my first time doing this, so you're seeing this live. Um, but really this has been incredibly easy so far. So let's see, if I click claim. Okay, so it's gonna probably take me through the Shopify um, creation, which I'm not going to do because I don't actually want to create this as a store. But um, it seems you probably uh, can actually manage the store from Shopify and then manage more of the, the front end of it here. Um, so I think you know your orders and your and the products. I'm sure you'd be able to manage it right from Shopify, so you don't need to do it into Lovable, as well as payments and all that stuff. Um, so this is super super neat. Um, I'm super impressed by just like the built-in functionality of 
what it was able to do. Um, and also just how easy it is to add a product. Now, obviously the design could use a bit of work. Um, and so let's see how actually if we can make it slightly better. Um, so let's go back. Let's give it the screenshot again of the product cards actually. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Nike, where is this? Go back here, back here again. Let's see if we can get the grid to look a little bit cleaner how it does here. So I'm gonna go to this, copy this, Let's say update product card design to match this image. I'm also curious if I can build in some of the search and filter functionality. So I'm going to take a stab at that. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, that didn't really work. Um, let's see if this works. Oh, wait, yeah, actually, hold on. Forgot to give it the image. Let's try this again. Placate the filter nav bar. Maybe I wasn't uh, specific enough to how I wanted to make these updates, but kind of went backwards on that one. But let's see if this one works. Okay, so it did actually successfully add our filtering here. I'm not sure if it works, but I did get some of the basic uh, logic in. Um, Let's see how we can actually get this to work. So let's tell it, give our products filter criteria so we can test the filter. Actually, I think we got it to work here. So as we filter, you can see it actually, clearly these are both road running. This is working, wow. So these, I mean, clearly they're not for boys or girls, they're for men, so that makes sense. Um, wow, yeah, this is great. Let's see how we can actually make a product go on sale. Let's say add a sale state to our products. Okay, so basically just to speed up, I added the sale state, but then I need to actually add in the sale for these products. So I said to put up sale for $150. Um, I had to approve a couple things, which actually adds, updates it on Shopify's side. And let's see, I'll refresh here. Okay. Okay, there we go. I mean, kind of worked. Obviously the design could be a bit better. It doesn't really show that it's a sale on here, but it does show the sale tag and it did update the price. Um, so I think we get the point that uh, you can do quite a lot uh, within a few prompts of Lovable and having it actually build an e-commerce store through Shopify that handles payments, filtering, products, you name it. Um, and I believe you'd probably manage everything on the actual Shopify dashboard, which makes it super e easy and seamless to actually run an e-commerce store uh, without needing to worry about all the, the back end. So uh, this has been really uh, cool. Um, and you also probably don't even need the uh, a back end for this because it's using Shopify as the back end. So, this makes it really simple. Um, so there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to use Lovable and Shopify. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you dropped a like and subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of really cool videos coming soon. We're upping uh, the YouTube channel game. So I'll see you on the next one.